Two groups of pterosaurs were common during the Jurassic period, the long-tailed rampharynchids and the short-tailed pterodactyls. One subgroup of pterodactyls were the tenochasmatids, who had distinctive teeth that were used for filter feeding. The tenochasmatid group derives its name from the genus Tenochasma, meaning comb jaw. It was a medium-sized pterosaur that had a wingspan of 1.2 meters. Fossil remains of Tenochasma have been discovered in the Solnhofen limestone of southern Germany, as well as in France and northern Germany. The first fossil remains of Tenochasma were discovered near Hanover and consisted of a front section of a lower jaw with many packed and robust teeth. These fossils were given the species name Tenochasma romeri. Fragments of an upper jaw were later discovered in 1862 in Solnhofen. These were assigned to a second species called Tenochasma gracile. A third species, Tenochasma porocristata, was later discovered in a quarry near Eichstatt in 1981. The species derives its name from a porous bony crest on its skull. Tenochasma derives its name from its bizarre dentition. Its jaws were full of long, thin and inwardly bent teeth, which were arranged in a dense row in the upper and lower jaw like a comb. The teeth formed a straining apparatus, which these animals used to filter food out of water. Tenochasma had over 260 teeth in its jaws. Tenochasma was a moderately sized pterosaur. The largest specimen had a 20 cm long skull and a wingspan of 1.2 meters. Tenochasma would probably have fed in a similar manner as modern seabirds, wading in the water with its jaws submerged, waiting for fish. Nathosaurus, meaning jaw lizard, was another type of tenochasmatid pterosaur from the Jurassic period. Its fossil remains have also been discovered in the Sunhofen limestone, although its fossils are extremely rare. The first remains of Nathosaurus were discovered in 1832 and consisted of a part of a lower jaw. The remains were originally misidentified as belonging to a marine crocodilian. Nathosaurus was later correctly identified as a pterosaur when a complete skull was discovered in 1951. The rest of this animal's skeleton is unknown, although it is possible that unclassified isolated bones from wings and back legs of larger pterosaurs may belong to this genus. Nathosaurus was a relatively large pterosaur that had a wingspan of 1.7 meters. Like Tenochasma, it was most likely a filter feeder that might have fed in a similar way as modern-day spoonbills. It had more powerful teeth that were less densely arranged and fewer in number, being only 130 in total. The jaws had teeth that extended well towards the back. The longest were located at the front and set around the spoon-shaped end of the jaw. Nathosaurus also had a head crest like Tenochasma.